Hi, we are here at the KLCC Convention Center with the ITAC Malaysia 2013, the 24th year. With me, I have Dr. Ishini Mohamad Noor from the University of Malaya. His um, category is biotechnology and he has done a lead paste production from palm oil. Doctor, can you please tell me more about this? Okay. The lipase production actually uh, we the pro the lipase produced from the Europe. Okay, this one this product lipase pr we can produce now in Malaysia, and we are the one who can produce the, this product and to to apply for the industrial application. Uh, the the problem is here uh, how we. Uh, screen the screening of the microbe and then uh, we produce uh, lipase and then uh, what's lipase for application at value okay the value of this uh, lipase is we can uh, manage the wastewater treatment from palm oil the wastewater treatment we call is palm oil male effluent this one the more major uh, contribution for pollutant in the river okay with this technology, the, the, the waste from the palm oil mill, we can convert to the very high value products, what we call is bioproducer. This bioproducer can replace the normal diesel. It's very, very fantastic uh, product. Without the lipase enzyme, what we produce, uh, we cannot be done. And no technology in the current stays with this thing. We are the one is can produce this. I see. Well, doctor, you have like a few products here on the table. Can you explain to me because I see this is like a very step by step product. Okay. Uh, okay. What we want to show here, this one, uh, the lipase we produce. Okay, with our technology. Actually, we use from palm oil using the microbe, our local microbe. This product is very important to convert this, uh, this one waste, waste uh, what we call palm oil meal effluent. This one, one day, for one meal in Malaysia, they produce 600 to 700 ton a day. And then they dump in the pond. That pond area is about 10 hectares. Okay? No technology yet how to disperse of this uh, waste. Okay, using uh, this uh, enzyme, we can convert this waste with no value to the, sorry, to this uh, product. This product we call bioprodiesel. It's not biodiesel. Bioprodiesel can replace diesel 100%. Why bioprodiesel is no diesel inside here. Biodiesel, you have to blending with the diesel. 10 to 15% of the biodiesel in diesel. This one, zero diesel. So, the, the, the quality of this uh, product, actually using this uh, enzyme, okay, the heating value is uh, increased. And then the mileage of this one liter is double time with the diesel normal. And this uh, product is, ve is the very cheap. Mean is, we, you can find this uh, product later in 2014 with uh, 1 ringgit uh, 80 cents. The same as normal. Okay? Then you can run is twice, uh, double time with the normal diesel. And this one no smoke. No copper, no sulfur. Okay, mean is this product is uh, comply with Euro for uh, standard diesel. I see. Yeah. So you're saying that, um, doctor, that this is a hundred percent natural organic yeah. replacement yeah. for diesel for fuel. Yeah. Wow, that's really really creative. So what 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 inspired you, doctor? Okay, the, the, the one is uh, uh, the pollution in Malaysia to the driver. You see, I talked uh, to all the palm oil mill owners before 10 years ago. They don't believe this technology. 
because very pity we throw the the money to the driver what we destroy the driver okay using this technology that way we can convert to the fuel this fuel is very high value we can maintain this price to five years with nothing happen the source is increased compare with the petroleum the source of petroleum will decrease decline this one increase because we need cooking oil okay so I mean is uh, how to solve the environmental problem so that's why we want to make the cycle product mean is we take source to produce this enzyme from the palm oil and then we use this to dispose the waste to make this value so in the palm oil mill actually we should has two products one is uh, for cooking oil, GPO, crude palm oil, and the second one is the fuel. I see. And your vision for next year? My vision is we hopefully we can uh, have, we can the distribution of this uh, product in the market, and uh, hopefully we will uh, get support from the government to produce this and then uh, hopefully all the mal all the palm oil mill in Malaysia should adopt this technology to solve their problem. All right, thank you very much, Dr. Ishini. You are have to come down here to KLCC Kuala Lumpur Convention Center for the ITAC Malaysia Exhibition 2013. Thank you.